Welcome to this channel, and in this video I want to talk about what's going on with Little Devil Inside. So the 2024 edition of a lot of these games. What in God's name is happening? And I thought, there's no better game to ask the question. I really don't actually believe so. Bioshock, maybe? There's a couple. But what's going on with Blank Game I think works perfectly for Little Devil Inside. A game that has been missing in action for years. And it's not even the first time that it's been missing in action for more than one year. This has happened before. You know, one of the best facts about this game is it really being originated back in like the Wii U era. That there are still videos you can kind of look at of some of the most early basic concepts of this game. We go back an entire console generation to one of the most failed consoles actually of all time in the Wii U for when this game first started, you know? Kickstarted and had you, I believe, over 5,000 backers, and here we now are. The biggest question, really, not even maybe is what's going on, is the game canceled? That's really the biggest question. Now, I will say, there is one piece of information that I want to bring to your attention that I found just by perusing the internet. I thought, hey, this is kind of interesting. I've never seen anybody talk about this, and maybe this changes, like, our minds about whether we think the game is canceled. So, it's actually going on their website. Their website is extremely, you know, barren, which is not surprising considering the state of this game. There is a little something there, and one of the things that caught my attention is how many people are actually on the development team, and it's 12. So I thought about it just for a second, and I said, okay, look, 12 people on this team making this game. I don't know if that's like enough to really bring me over to the light and say, oh yeah, this game's got a good shot of happening. Because to be honest, I've even said this like to people behind the scenes. The last couple months I have fully kind of given in to the idea of this game is just not going to happen. I've long been a backer that I believe this game was going to happen, but the last few months I just thought you know what I mean we haven't seen any signs, there's just nothing out there, and you know the development team being 12 people. Strong is not necessarily a sign that the game is alive but it does make me reconsider a little. And it makes me think, okay, games take a very long time to make. An incredibly long time. And you see games that have, you know, two, three hundred people take four, five years. So if this 12-person team really wants to do an ambitious, however many long hour game, right? It could take, honestly, it could take a decade. Now, is that wise? No. Should you really maybe reconsider what the game is at that point and try to like, Maybe shorten it, or just, you know, kind of refocus your attention on something. Yes. I think the idea that this game has been around for so freaking long is a negative. It's absolutely not a positive for this game. But considering the development size, or the team size, I think it is still possible that this game is happening. I think this game absolutely still could happen. Now, what's going on with this game going in 2024? Well. We are now past two years, right? So like the state of play was over. It was in 2021, but it was obviously, you know, past this point. So we are approaching two and a half and, you know, obviously eventually going into 2024, it'll be three years. I still want to stick with the like now or never thing that, you know, you have to show, but you could say that any year. You know, I mean, I, the reason I make these videos is kind of just to bring attention to games that, you know, have kind of been missing in action. Give me a chance to kind of just update you guys on my thoughts on it. But I really I don't have much to say about this game that I haven't already said for the past couple of years. Like it is a now or never thing they need to say something about it. And I would have told you that last year. I would have told you that when the game was shown last, you know, when they showed this at the state of play, I thought, okay, like we're finally getting it. You know what I mean? You double down and remember, we actually talked about this entire arc when that happened. Was I think there was an advertisement thing, remember, that said, I think like winter of, what was it, 2022 maybe, winter of 2022, maybe it was winter of 2021. So people started thinking, okay, I mean, no matter what it was, now I'm blanking because again, this game has been alive for my entire life. It still has passed. Like, it doesn't matter which year it was that it said, you know, winter on. Both of those, winter of 2021 has passed, and winter of 2022 has passed. 
and we're now literally in winter of 2023. So, you know, they had a rough date is what it looks like to me, right? They had a rough date one to two years ago. It didn't happen. So like, all right, take a year, take two years now and again, refocus and figure it out. But I think now, you know, as we approach three years that they haven't shown it, and one to two years after, you know, the rumored release date was supposed to happen. I think you got to come out and hit us with, hey, you know, we had a major delay. And I mean, that's another thing, right? Is there's just no communication? There's no reason why the game disappeared all the other times. So it's like, I mean, you can kind of tell when you see it, you say, oh yeah, things have changed. I mean, this game has evolved, absolutely, but you're seeing it evolve behind the scenes. You're seeing what it was 10 years ago. Now, four years ago, 10 years, oh, it's getting better. But like, until it's in our hands, you're just showing us like three to five minute segments of it, right? Like, you ought to give us more. So hopefully 2024 is the time that they at least show it off. But I mean, even that, I would say it's not just like a now or never thing to reshow it. It's a now or never thing for the next time you show it. So help me God, if you do not give a release date. And then also so help me God a second time. If you don't give us the game on that date, then I don't even know what to tell you. You are what, what I mean. You got to do all three. You got to show it again. You got to have a date on that trailer. Otherwise, why even do it? And then it's got to come out on that day. I'm not a fan, obviously, of rushing games out before they're ready. You know, I've said that a hundred times. But for a game like this, you know, truly, what is the point of showing us another trailer without a date? And then what is the point of showing us a date if you're just going to delay it for like, what, the seventh time? The eighth. How many times have they actually delayed this thing? It's insane. So, I don't know. I still kind of believe it's not hap- Like, I think it was real. This isn't an example of like, an abandon or the day before where I think they're just outright lying to us. And there was never a game. I think they're trying. I think there was something or is something. I just don't know if it's can. I feel like it would lean more towards this thing is canceled. Oh my. Welcome to the world of Little Devil Inside.